I stood here tonight and I made fun of the President of the United States, and I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine, right? It is my great honor to be speaking tonight at the nation's most distinguished super spreader events. <laughs> no, for real, people, what are we doing here? Let's be honest, what are we doing? Like, did none of you learn anything from the gridiron dinner? Nothing, huh? Like, do you read any of your own newspapers? I mean, I expect this from Sean Hannity, but the rest of you, what are you doing here? I mean, Dr. Fauci dropped out. That should have been a pretty big sign. Fauci thought it was too dangerous to come tonight. Pete Davidson thinks it's okay. <laughs> and we all went with Pete, okay. All right then. Uh, now for those who don't know me, uh, my name is Trevor Noah and I'm, I'm really honored to be here, honestly. Um, you know, because you could have picked any comedian, you could have invited anyone, but you went with the South African variant. Very on theme. I appreciate that. Just chill, we're celebrating, we're out. You know, get comfortable. Not too comfortable, Jeffrey Tubin. Not too comfortable. And by the way, give it up for Kirsten Cinema. Who ever thought we'd see the day in American politics when a senator could be openly bisexual but closeted Republican, huh? That's progress. That's progress. And yes, it is risky making jokes these days, you know? I mean, we all saw what happened at the Oscars. Um, I've actually been a little bit worried about tonight. I, I won't lie, you know? I was like, what if I make like a really mean joke, you know? about like Kellyanne Conway, and then her husband rushes up on the stage and thanks me. <laughs> I just hope we all stay calm. There's many big names here tonight. Yeah, one of my favorites, Ron DeSantis is here. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I'm actually surprised that he found the time. You know, he's been so busy trying to outmaneuver Trump for 2024. I see you, Ron. I see you, Flair. Yeah, I've seen what you've been doing. Blaming Trump for the lockdowns, distancing yourself from the vaccines that Trump created with his own two hands. Nobody knew how to make vaccines until I made them. Beautiful, beautiful vaccines. Nobody knew how. Not even Fauci. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me here. You know, I was a little confused about why me but then I was told that you get your highest approval ratings when a biracial African guy is standing next to you, so, uh... uh so let me just say, uh, Joe, uh, I'm glad that I could uh, do my part. And uh, hopefully this will work. I'm not actually him, I just did the voice. Think of all the journalists whose careers have been hurt by the Biden presidency. People like Daniel Dale. He used to be CNN star fact checker on TV every day, but now there's barely anything to check. <laughs>